Hello viewers, welcome back. Today I present you Mike Cutlet's magnetic propulsion motor. On my left side you can see this beautiful image. So this patent is a little bit different than other patents that I showed because I did have it for some time on my computer. I couldn't make the... It was so complicated from the available patent images as you can see now in front of my face. It was so difficult to figure out how this works because the patent images are really not that good. But anyway, I managed to figure it out. You can see now the patent and all these things. I will put the link of the patent in the description section below so you can download it. But that's basically it. So, that I don't uh, waste too much time here, let me show you the animation how this actually works. And later on, uh, you will see uh, how this I will try to explain what is missing in my animation that this can really. Um, how this actually operates because I couldn't make animation of one particular point which is the most important I think here but you will you will see when I explain on my on my big screen on the left uh, how this is supposed to work actually and how and, and but why you should read the patent entirely because it's it's a long text but never mind let's go now and see on this on big screen how this is supposed to work Okay, now this will be a first angle to look on it, and you will see. As you can see, we have some housing which will support our rotor and our more or less stator, but actually I don't see a stator over here, so that is strange. The, this one you have this V-shaped magnets, so V-shaped six magnets in the circle on these uh, rods, and then you have additional uh, component over here. We have this drive pulley, you see this uh, black, this is a drive pulley and uh, on these shafts, on these horizontal shafts you can see there also some set of magnets yeah? so four set of magnets let me now do this from a little bit different perspective to explain more thoroughly okay, now I shift a little bit the view so what's going on here? so you can see this one, two, three and four a rod with the horizontal magnets over here. Yeah? So, so what, what's going on here? So basically this, as you saw on my animation, so when this rotor is spinning, yeah, uh, I couldn't animate these magnets on this shot because they are also spinning, of course, because of this drive pulley, which will uh, move this all in circles. So basically th this set of magnets will rotate like this. Yeah? horizontally yeah? and this one and this one also and that one also so as as the rotor as the uh, rotor magnets will spin in circle this uh, these magnets will also spin on the other axis and as I understand this and there is no other th uh, thing to explain this is that uh, this should be timely set up yeah? so timing should be perfect so that these magnets actually push the rotor magnet uh, to uh, to continuously spin, yeah? to continuously rotate. And but what I'm worried about, I will show from my next view because this drive pulley it doesn't turn from itself. It doesn't. It needs to have a gear. So if we look now from this perspective, it's obvious that this uh, drive pulley on the in these four shafts are connected to some kind of electric motor. It needs to spin this pulley that it spins uh, these, mag these horizontal magnets in circle. So, it, I'm really doubtful how this could ever work yeah? and how this uh, force, uh, obviously the force created by the rotor should be much higher than the energy we spend on, the, on this motor to rotate the drive pulley. Is it really that in the reality? Who knows? We should make a patent, we should make a, a really, really the motor. But that's basically it. So, as now you can see in front of my face again the animation, it's missing this uh, so rotation of this uh, horizontal of magnets is missing here. But definitely it should be timely adjusted yeah? so that in the exact moment when the rotor magnets, rotor V shaped magnets are spinning, it also um, pushes additionally the rotor magnet to rotate. So that's it. So this is how I understand uh, Mike, Mike Cutlet's magnetic propulsion motor. 
But you should definitely read it more uh, in the patent, which you can find in the link in the description below. And you can also give your thoughts in the comments below. That's what I'm looking forward to. Because to, my, to me, this, should, this would never work. But maybe I'm wrong. So read the patent. So I have much more uh, patents available on my hard drive and which I simply don't have time and energy to reconstruct. But don't go away, I will do it uh, at least on a weekly basis or, or on a two weeks basis another uh, patent exploration or um, uh, reconstruction that you are more up to date because in the end you know that I'm the only channel which does not make this light bulb, this fake uh, free energy devices which um, which take energy from spark plug or from whatever which you know cannot work but um, I even have one of these videos for fun yeah? so at the beginning I made one the light bulb which which works with this new dimmium magnet but of course it cannot work it's just to fool you around but uh, never mind I am really exploring these patterns uh, like um, and you would be surprised how many people reach to me via LinkedIn or via email, depending on what they, they, they choose. And even some of you would support my work via PayPal and I'm very, very grateful for that. So everybody who can uh, spend two, three dollars and send me, it really makes me more, uh, yeah, it makes me happy because I have uh, more, uh, uh, more will to do that because it's not that simple to, to open the AutoCAD software and to reconstruct the patent it takes some time and the most time I take is to study how this looks like because from 2D images now you can see in front of me again this uh, Mike Cutlets the magnetic propulsion motor patent sometimes it's really difficult to, um, uh, to imagine in, in my head how this really work because uh, yeah uh, they only have to be conceptual drawings and everything should be explained within text and in, in always in every patent you have a description of each part of this uh, motor how it works how it should work and um, yeah uh, it's only that you then uh, try to reconstruct it reconstruct it in reality and see for yourself that it's probably not a fake if you know the measures but we, we, we actually cannot know that because for, for most of these patents I see I didn't see the, the, the real devices uh, anywhere on YouTube or on, on internet uh, overall uh, but they are patent applications in the patent office and I'm not sure that you need actually a device to, to make some patent maybe you need only uh, a, a sketch and some text and then you pay to patent office your uh, regular fee they are happy with that but you can patent anything I also have one subscriber who came to me with original idea and I did really uh, proper patent drawings for him and he applied for a patent yeah, so it's not something I don't know I just fool around but anyway not to take your time, there are going to be more patents similar to this Mike Cutlets, maybe even uh, Muhammad Yildiz, because everybody loves this one the most, because actually there are some video materials that show that it works. But don't go away, it will come. Just give me some time. So thank you for watching, until next video, stay tuned on my channel.